This is the awesome DLC map called Tempest. Hey, I'm Sam Jones and I'm a lead environment artist. I'm Rob Adams and I'm a lead environment artist. Mike Bilterman, I own Bunty. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Bilterman, I'm a senior level artist. David Aldridge, a network engineer. I worked on performance analysis for Tempest. So you're a perf god, is what you're saying? I am, I'll, I'll take pretty much any kind of god. Crown king of perf. Perf, if I have to, I suppose. Perf and crannies. <laughs> perf and crannies. Crannies are great for perf. So originally this map was called DLC Medium because it's the medium sized map within a bucket of other three maps. It's not small, it's not big, it's just the right size especially for killing red and blue dudes. And we knew that if we called it DLC Medium, that people wouldn't get attached to the name and we could change it later. Although Medium is an awesome name. I really it's like pretty it. cool. I grew pretty it's, attached to Medium. Dispassionate like me. The map is built to support um, optimally around eight to 12 players. It's a bit too big for say four players and it's a bit too small for 16. Tempest is a foreigner weather HQ, which uh, as you can see here, there's these wonderful laser beams that are meant to be some part of the weather controlling system. And then out in the sea here, we have these wonderful huge shrines with little vortices atop them. So in terms of the actual vegetative oh, no. theme of the map, we have this kind of wonderful high Sierra, rocky subalpine um, backdrop. We have these uh, huge rocks with this kind of really visible diagonal strata that's meant to both lead the eye and also look pretty awesome. We tried to really separate the, the terrain into parts that were really, really distinguishable from each other so that any time a player spawned or you're running around a corner, immediately tell where you are. I think it's more frustrating than spawning and having to whip the camera from left to right three or four times to figure out where you are. We really tried to focus on making one side dry and different and one side uh, wetter and greener. So yeah, all that stuff just makes the map feel really grounded. We, we borrowed heavily from real geographic regions from Earth, and the fiction behind the Forerunners is that they, they ran around and they collected samples from all over the universe and put these ecosystems together. Especially based much of the palette on Yosemite National Park in California. Yeah, actually the whole Sierra Nevada just gave us a lot of photo reference. The Tahoe area, Lake Tenaya in Yosemite, the San Sed, the Merced River. This, um, river that you see down along the cliffs. I had 15 or 20 high-res photo references of the Merced River and I tried to hit the exact color and the little foamy bits that you see in the water and the way that the waterfalls go in and the types of grasses that you see growing along the side. If anyone notices rocks floating in the water, I'm officially apologizing right now. But rocks do float. They're full of air. They're actually made of pumice. Yeah. Well, grenades float, as we all know, so it doesn't seem like that big of a leap. So we wanted to make this map play really well. And the best way to do that was to play test the crap out of it. So we play tested almost every single day for about five months. And when you play the map yourself, you will find that it really does play exceptionally well. So we put all that effort into it. One of the keys to play testing. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah. Stick it, stick the landing. We're, we're uh, gonna, no, we're we're gonna we're get murdered. We're, we're gonna die. <laughs> Why Mike? I think one of the keys to getting really, really uh, smooth, uh, tight, focused and balanced maps is to have the actual development artists that are working on the map take part in the frequent play tests so that they're not just reacting to play, play, play again. A bunch of bullet points from, from play test sessions and lists of feedback, but they're the ones there that are actually feeling the grief from somebody up on a cliff. And so having an emotional investment in the map as an artist, I think makes you a better designer. Because we uh, had our artists play testing almost every single day, I think that really had a, an effect on how balanced and, and tight these maps are. We uh, play tested early on with a banshee in the default palette, but uh, it proved to be too overpowering. So now the banshee is only really available in forge palette setup. It's too awesome, actually. Sam Arguez made us cut it. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot of fun, but it is quite overpowering. So, I think what you're seeing in this map is reminiscent of forge, but it has a lot of new stuff as well. Especially when you consider all the brand new Forerunner buildings that Mike Bielterman made. I think they're the best looking Forerunner buildings we've ever made. They're just stunning. Yes, it has the most expensive palette we've shipped other than Forge World. It has a lot of real estate to actually build upon, whereas the other two maps are a bit more constricted. Also, the laser beam, you get a, a banshee and you, you fly around and you stray too close to the laser beam, it'll actually EMP you and 
the uh, banshee will go in a downward spiral. It's quite a lot of fun. Our producer, Sam Arguez, didn't want that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so we, but, had, we uh, had to put it in there for We had to put it in, and yeah. then, um, you know, he was glad we did, and we were glad he let us do it. He's not always a killjoy. Very untypical of him to try to talk us out of doing something fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is the killer of fun. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Captain Fun Killer. <laughs> Sorry, we can't do that. That'd be too much fun. We don't have the time for that much fun in here. Fun is not in the schedule. <laughs> He's gonna kill us for that one. <laughs> Is he here? He's gonna. I'm gonna go upstairs. He'll be shaking his head. Yeah, we can't edit that. Out. That's gotta go in. Let's go get it released. <laughs> Thanks for watching us play Tempest. We uh, love making it as much as you'll love playing it. Um, it's coming out November 30. Download it. It's well worth it. Yeah, normal locks for douches. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> So we, but, uh, we had to put it in there.